guys. Welcome to Aztec here in Arizona. My name is Preston. I've got a pretty cool project for you guys this week. It's an Altoids 10 vibrational piezoelectric pickup mic. It's kind of a mouthful, but it's a whole lot of fun. And it can be used to amplify any kind of instrument. Make sure to check out these videos coming soon of other instruments that have amplified. Alright, let's see how it's made. Alright, here's what you're going to need. You're going to have to get yourself one of these 1 fourth audio jacks. You can find these off of Amazon for pretty cheap and it works pretty good because you can plug your guitar cable into it. One of these aux input jacks, piezoelectric disc, on off switch. This is a push button on off switch. I actually bought myself one of these toggle switches just because it looked cool and it worked well with the Altoids tin. You're also going to need an old pair of earbuds just so you can have this plug right there. So here's a simple schematic. You got your piezoelectric disc right here, a potentiometer, a switch, and then your output. And how the piezoelectric disc works is normally it's used as a buzzer and you'll send current into it and it'll vibrate the actual structure of the crystal. What we're doing is we're vibrating the structure of the crystal to get electrical impulses out of it. And we need an amplifier to actually make those sounds a lot louder. The next step is you gotta find something to put everything inside. I found one of these Altoid tins and they work pretty good because you can house everything plus it looks cool because it's got that nice metallic finish to it. You're gonna need to drill some holes into it. I've tried a lot of different things. This was an actual drill bit. Didn't work so hot because it actually tore it up too much. This was a small drill bit and then I just hammered different size nails into it so I could get bigger and bigger holes and that seemed to work out really well. Alright, let's wire it up. vibrational pickup mic, the piezoelectric crystal hooked on right here, and I taped this down just so the speaker wouldn't vibrate the sensor and actually cause an interference loop, so we don't want that. Taped it down. Alright, this is what it sounds like by itself. This is what it sounds like turned on. 